Hey everyone, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about one of my favorite presentation programs, Keynote. So let me tell you what I have right here. So someone sent me this Keynote presentation. I don't really wanna use this, I'm not gonna go in and edit this, but there are some nice assets in this presentation that I do wanna use for another project. So something like this, a really nice photo here of these instruments. But one of the things that you'll notice about these images is it looks like when this was transferred from from PowerPoint to Keynote, it kind of distorted those images to get it to fit on the slide. So even if I was able to take a screenshot of this, it's, it's not going to look good. It's not going to be that full resolution photo. Okay, some other items, you've got your keyboard, and then right over here, I've got this really nice movie that I definitely want to use in a video editing project. Now, the problem is when you go to any of these individual assets and you like do a, a, a control click right here, there's not a really easy way for you to save this. Now, I know I can do something like maybe export this as a PDF and then maybe kind of take screenshots and do that sort of thing, but that's kind of a pain because it's not going to give you the original image file in full resolution. Now movies is even a little harder because there's not a way, I believe in PowerPoint, you can right click and download a video. It's not the same in Keynote. So I'm kind of stuck here. The only thing I can do is really maybe open my QuickTime player and do a screen recording, which again is going to diminish the quality. So here's a nice trick that will allow you to take any asset, any media asset inside a keynote presentation, find the original file and allow you to repurpose that for different projects. What I'm going to do is just save this to a location. I'm not gonna mess with my original file, but I am gonna save this one to a location where I can open it. All right, so here's my location. I've saved this into a folder. You can see the project that I just saved is right over here. The original PowerPoint is still over here. I'm just gonna leave that one untouched just in case I need it. But now what I need to do is just kind of change the extension of this. So I'm just going to single click that will allow me to change the title and I'm going to add a .zip extension, just like that, .zip. Now when I click off, it's going to say, are you sure you want to change the extension? Yes, in this case I do. Remember, this is the copy of that original presentation that I created in case I ever have to go back to the original untouched presentation. But what this is going to do is create a zip file. And inside this zip file is going to be all of the data. It's going to open a new folder like this. Okay, here we go. Now you can see right over here, I have some preview images, but what I want to do is go over here where it says data, because when I open that data folder, inside are going to be all of the media assets for any presentation. So now let me go ahead and double click here slide it over to my monitor here and you can see look there's the full resolution photo of that image it's not distorted it's not kind of squished together or stretched that's exactly how that image looked when it was uploaded in the presentation now look over here you can see this is my video of our violin player but unfortunately it is a still frame is this not going to work Nope, it still will work because if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, past some of the images that are here, you'll see that now I have those video assets at the bottom. So it goes JPEG images all the way down to our MP4 videos. And now if I just kind of bring this over, there's a video of our violin player. What's great about this is then I can save this file and I can upload this into a different project. So that is how you do it. If anyone ever sends you a keynote file that you wanna take individual assets from, whether it's photos or videos, all you do is add that .zip extension. You create the zip file, you open the zip file, all of the media assets will be found inside that data folder. So thank you so much for watching EdTech Hustle. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment area below. And hey, if you like these videos, it would be awesome if you could subscribe. So thanks again and have a great day.